Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs 12 straight years every day. Today I'd like to share Proverbs 7 verses 24 to 27. Here's the word of God. And now, O sons, listen to me and be attentive to the words of my mouth. Let not your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her paths. For many a victim has she laid low, and all her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is the way to Sheol, going down to the chambers of death. Proverbs 7, 24 to 27. Here's my poem. Listen and be focused on God's word. When you serve the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll follow the truth. You will listen to his word and all the laws he commanded you. Constantly guard your heart so that you won't fall into sin. Put a rend on your mouth so that you will not hurt anyone. Do not be yoked to anyone who does not believe in God. If you do, you can be seduced to do what is wrong. Feed on the word of the Lord and you will be strong. It is your shield against all wickedness and it is your sword. Here's my commentary. In Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 20, we are asked to wear the whole armor of God. It gives us the formula to be strong. The strength comes from God, not from us. Unlike the world system, strength comes from human understanding, power, and knowledge. It doesn't stand long. Unlike the strength that comes from God, it will quickly fade away. Solomon ends this book with advice to listen and be focused on God's truth. It shields us from the path toward darkness and death. Just as Paul reminds Ephesians to wear the whole armor of God, Solomon also warns his sons that they need to be mindful to wear all that will protect them from the evil around them. Paul speaks about fastening the belt of truth, which is synonymous to Solomon's advice to be attentive to the word of God. Reflection. Share your thoughts on the result of listening and being focused on God's word. I could attest I could attest to the fact that it was the Word of God that shielded me from um, all the many addictions and the many sins that I have um, done in those years that I didn't know the Word of God. So when I began uh, being a born-again Christian, I suddenly found out all the lies that I've been believing, that I've listened to of my life and that has led me to be corrupted by the world and to sin. When I learn about the truth it changed the way I look at the world because I used to just follow the systems of the world, what people tell me, what my parents tell me, what are the standards of the world, how to have ambition, how to do your best, uh, without much focus on the guidance that the Word of God would give you. So it was very eye-opening for me and it was life-changing to find out that it is in the Holy Scriptures that we can have the map or the guide to navigate this very corrupt world. So I encourage you to listen and be focused on God's Word. Dwell on it. Listen, read, study it deeply because you will realize how much it will change the way you view things, the way that uh, we were uh, brought up. is if, if you didn't grow up in a Christian family and you did not know the Word of God, then you would not know how to navigate this world. You will be sucked into darkness, sucked into seductions of the enemy to make you sin. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos. 
give you the Word of God. Now, if you haven't already, check over 3,000 videos I've done over the years I've been doing this daily. Just type on YouTube or Google search, Ilma's Palm Devotional. Have a wonderful day.